First, you're going to get out two pieces of your desired bread. Then, you're going to take the lids off the peanut butter and jelly and place them off to the side. Then, you're going to take one of your butter knives and you're going to dip it into the peanut butter, just gathering an amount. Take one of your slices of bread and spread evenly all over the bread. You might need to get more peanut butter as you go, which is completely fine. And you're going to go until it's completely Once your slice is completely covered from edge to edge, take your knife and just kind of slide it on the edge of the bread so you can kind of clean up the knife. Then you're going to place the knife with the peanut butter into the sink. You're going to grab your other knife, and you're going to gather it into the jelly and repeat the same for the peanut butter. So covering the whole slice of bread edge to edge. Once the jelly completes the whole slice of the bread, do the same thing as you do with the peanut butter. Swipe the knife at both sides of the blade on the edge of the bread to clear off your knife and then put the knife into the sink. Grab in one lid at a time, put the lids back on the peanut butter and the jelly. Make sure you're putting them on the appropriate jar. Mistakes can happen. You're going to put the peanut butter and jelly into the correct places where they belong. Then, you're almost done. So you're going to take both slices and you're going to take the jelly side and the peanut butter side and touch them together. So you have the whites on the outside and the jelly and the peanut butter on the inside. Sometimes you might want to like smush it down just to make sure it's all good. And then that's your peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Last and final step, clean up your work area. If there's anything you did not put away or take care of during making your sandwich, you do that now. And then you can sit and eat the sandwich.